Hoffman is in critical condition tonight and a 23-year-old man behind bars after an afternoon shooting on Canal Street in broad daylight. This happened near the intersection of Canal and Elk Place at the China Wall Restaurant, an area that's seen its fair share of violence in the last year alone. WDSU anchor Gina Swanson is live downtown with more and the police response and why people who frequent that area say more needs to be done to prevent violent crime at such a busy intersection. Gina. That's right, Adriana. Now it appears the China Wall restaurant is back opening for business hours after the shooting happened. Superintendent Michael Harrison says that his deputies responded quickly to what he is calling an active shooter situation. The subject was still on. They were very brave and courageous and acted without fear. Police Chief Michael Harrison says his officers acted quickly to detain an armed man who they say shot a woman in a Canal Street restaurant. An onlooker captured this cell phone video of police putting the suspect, 23 year old Travon Williams, into the patrol car. Witnesses say he was smiling and laughing after he opened fire. It all started just after 4 o'clock Friday afternoon. Police say the man entered the China Wall restaurant. He was acting around. Police say the victim followed Williams inside to try and calm him down. An argument ensued of some type. Um, the subject produced a firearm and began firing inside the restaurant, striking the female. I heard the gunshot. Uh, I saw a woman hit the ground. We ran. So I don't know what happened after that. So I appreciate everybody get back. So we, we all got back. Police say the woman was shot in the head and was taken to the hospital. Investigators gathered evidence just inside the front door of the restaurant. It is another violent crime at a major intersection in the city during the beginning of rush hour. Unfortunate but familiar for people who are in this area every day. There's muggings, there's uh, beatings, stabbings, uh, shootings. Christopher Leslie catches the bus at this intersection daily. He says in addition to loitering, there are often big crowds and lots of problems. People that are drinking, um, getting off of work, there's a mix of school kids and then there's a mix of people that are just generally up to no good hanging out at the bus stop. This situation here I doubt could, could have been prevented, but the other things that have happened could definitely have been pre prevented. Now, again, China Wall Restaurant back open serving customers at this hour. This incident, the shooting this afternoon, one of several that, is, that has happened in this block in the last year. The most recent incident happened back in February when a woman was shot at the bus stop. For now, we're on your side downtown. I'm Gina Swanson. Back to you. All right, thanks, Gina. And police say Williams was booked on attempted second degree murder charges in connection to this afternoon shooting. A check of court records indicates Williams had been arrested before, back in 2012 and 2013, for possession of marijuana and possession of stolen property.